In this video, we will look at the Spotlight extension from Elements Hive. With the Spotlight extension, you can easily enable an interactive spotlight effect on any element on your page with a single toggle. Here we have a simple card element built with some primitives from Breakdance that we will use for this video. The Spotlight extension is part of the Mouse Effects extensions family, which can be accessed from the Settings tab of any element. Once enabled, we can see a default spotlight effect on the given element, which is the div element in this case. The first setting we have is the color control, which defines the base color of our spotlight. Here we can choose any solid color we want that will match our design. Next is the size, which defines the size of the spotlight. The next setting is the opacity factor, which dictates the opacity of the spotlight. The higher the value, the more opaque the spotlight will be. The proximity threshold setting establishes the point at which the spotlight becomes visible. It defines the distance in pixels that the mouse cursor must be from the edges of an element for the spotlight to appear. The spotlight effect is enabled for all elements. It's compatible with all existing elements from Breakdance and Elements Hive. For custom elements or other third party elements, etc., depending on the underlying markup, in some instances, you might need to change the Z-index in order to make the spotlight visible. The next setting that we have is the filters. These are the usual CSS filters that you are familiar with, which can be used to change the look and feel of the spotlight. The last setting is the disable on touch devices, which disables the effect on touch devices by preventing the code dependencies from loading. The Spotlight extension can also be used to emulate a glow border-like effect. The technique has already been described by Nyarko from Moreblocks. You can find a link to that video in the video description below. Let's see how it's done. First, we'll add a div element. This will act as our wrapper and will be used for creating the interactive borders. We will place the existing card inside the div wrapper. On the outer div element, we will add some padding. The size of the padding in this case is essentially the size of our border. Let's temporarily disable the existing spotlight on the card. Now, when we enable the spotlight extension on the wrapper div, we can see an interactive border on the card. It's probably hard to see in the video with the autofocus in builder mode given the current padding size. Let's add some border radius and check the effect on the front end. With the given setting so far, we can see a nice faint border relative to the cursor position. Let's make the border thicker by increasing the padding. We can increase the opacity factor to make the solid border more vibrant. We can also add one or more filters for more variations. Another variation of this technique would be to not use any padding and instead apply a blur filter to the spotlight in order to create a nice glow effect below the card's edges.
we can enable the spotlight on the card again and make the effect even more pronounced. We can give different proximity threshold values to each spotlight so that the outer spotlight is visible before the inner one. The spotlight extension is available for all elements and with the right setup can be used to create different effects. You can use it on a section for some fancy mouse follow or light effects. Or use it with buttons and CTAs to replace the basic background color change transitions and make them more interesting and inviting to the user. You should now be ready to make full use of the Spotlight extension in your designs. And if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to press that like button, share the video with others who may benefit from it, and subscribe to be notified of future videos.